back to the group 2. Nope, does Sabbath number 4. We will have a look in that uh, in a second. Hopefully it works this time. I did a test stream earlier and apparently it was stuck on the new screen for some reason or another. So uh, hopefully it will work. Um, there is a maintenance in about 2 hours, so we'll have to be fast to do this. That maintenance will bring in uh, a little patch and that patch is going to uh, mainly change the recalibration a little bit in such a way that it will be cheaper. The price of the bucks will go down about 20% so uh, instead of starting at 2500 bucks for your first recalibration you will now start at 2000. Maximum price uh, normally was 40,000 it will more than likely now be something like uh, 30, 32,000 something like that. That is uh, to balance it out a little bit more. They also have doubled the scrap parts amount. That's not a big deal because most people uh, have more than enough of that scrap thing already. The summit on the other hand that is going to start today and uh, will run for about a week. That's going to be another problem with our nope driver here because we have unleveled vehicles and it is all about live extreme series episodes and that means three different vehicles in all of these things need to be used. Ten disciplines are needed, ten different disciplines so we're gonna have some issues here and there for sure. Uh, there is a summit f bundle available or there should be. Not sure what the price of that thing is. The Live Extreme Mixtape, that's the name of this summit, uh, it is available for 1.3 million bucks, which is something we do not have to begin with. Uh, but it will have the 10 different disciplines, certain vehicle for one of these, all of these uh, disciplines that you can uh, use. Now, uh, in theory we don't need that, I think I have vehicles in every single thing, but we'll have a look. Uh, first thing first, let's see where we uh, have finished last week. 260th, which is not even that bad, considering uh, we have unleveled vehicles. Out of more than 22,000 players, I think, we finished in 260th. So uh, we are working our way up. And we are a regular platinum. Only in the first summit we did not win anything than gold. Uh, but other than that, second and the third summit, also last week we had platinum, but that was a uh, 2400 plays or something. This week uh, a bit less players have played, which made it a bit easier to get into the Platinum. And also the uh, top 3000 score was way lower than uh, last week when we could win a car. But nevertheless, we're gonna collect this. What do we win? Uh, 150,000 followers, 52,000 of that scrap that already uh, is prepared for the uh, patch then. Uh, that about 124 for in a uh, rally cross uh, that is something that you win if you already have that car then you will get uh, the price of that thing refunded more or less I think it's about 250,000 if you buy it in the dealers so uh, if you already have that car you will get 250,000 bucks instead of the car and the multicolor smoke which is rare that is about 30,000 crew credits if you buy that in the shop so that's all the stuff that we win Let's collect that first. That's that. Now let's see what's going on here. Um, first off, have a look on next week. Also next week becomes available now to have a look at. Uh, seeing it is two wheeler we can already suggest that it will be all about bikes. Um, for instance over here we need a BMW bike here on our Nope driver that already as you can see it is locked that means that uh, that's going to be a problem already we need to buy somewhere during this week we need to get a bmw bike in rally rate uh, that basically means the r1200 gs over here we need a street bike we do have that uh, rally rate bike we have uh, i think we have a ducati or something so uh, we can use that over here as well over here the same it's all bike obviously since it's two wheelers here we have the uh, street race gsxr uh, seen 
although uh, it is a nope driver that we are driving here we do have the uh, season pass and that is a season pass vehicle so we have that one and uh, motocross we also have a motocross bike so for next week we more or less set uh, except for the BMW bike over there the week after that that's a different story that is a premium summit that is the June summit and that will give the Lamborghini Hurricane Porfomanto and uh, but that is not uh, a street race car like the normal Hurricane that is a hypercar June 5th till uh, June the 12th it's one track mind uh, that's more than likely gonna be about touring cars and such and over here we have a loot digger set that is a complete set again and uh, it does involve uh, cold finder and lucky I think which is basically the perfect part and then uh, the new thing is uh, over here Las Vegas showdown that showed up here that's more or less likely gonna be uh, events around Las Vegas but that's uh, all for the future let's talk about the present the live extreme series mixtape We are unranked, obviously, because we just came in. And our goal, as always, is to try to get 100,000 points in all of these things. Get 100,000 bonus. That should give us a million points. With a million points, in normal circumstances, you're good to go for Platinum. In a premium summit, might be a bit different, especially on PC. Uh, it was almost 1.2 million uh, two weeks ago. But this is not a premium summit, so we will see. Of course we have the problem here now that we have to use in episode 3, 4 and 5 of these live extreme series as well as in the uh, spectacular and the uh, holiday special three different vehicles. The new track this week is Extreme Miami Surf and Turf. Uh, I already showed that in a video once when I did uh, show all the new tracks that were available in the preview where we could record uh, pre-record uh, a few of us at least. Uh, and that is, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Power Boat, Rally Rate and Hypercar. And other than that, we have uh, the normal three skill tests. A speed trap. Nah. No restrictions again. So that is going to be all kind of strange things happening there. People driving track cars, Formula 1 cars, falling with boats out of the sky, stuff like that. We have seen it all before. Aerobatics with no restriction, that means not aerobatics, that means air race more than likely that people are going to use there. And the slalom is something we have to check if it is uh, available on the road or on the water. Uh, let's have a look on the speed trap, what's going on there. One by one, have a look on the events. Righty. I'm gonna do a few tests on this. How the RS5? Let's see what we can do. Street race. Three hundred and forty point nine. Forty seven thousand points. Uh, yeah. I think we got the picture already. This is not going to be the vehicle that we want. We did win a part for it. I'm pretty sure it will be a great one again. Yep. Of course. Blue. We scrap it. Not a problem. Oh yes. We have the wonderful situation that we have to do this in free roam and the weather is going to change every five minutes or whatever. That's the next priority in my opinion that they need to change that weather sequence again. It is way too fast as it is now. Um, let's think about this. We can take a hypercar and get more speed from that. 299. What is the highest level we have? Here is our car that we got from uh, last week's summit. 298. 
So the touring car compared to the hypercar uh, sort of same level at this moment in time. But of course we have a Formula 1 car. 312, 312, okay. Let's... My god, press the wrong button and you have to go through that whole menu thing again. Select this one, please. Four hundred and two kilometers an hour. More like it. Sixty-five thousand points. Okay. I think we can retry again. Now we come into the trouble with the keyboard. That's for sure. Because of course we also have a drag car. Which of course doesn't see it one single bit, unless you're a real driver. Because it's raining, it's traffic, there are other people, they generate more traffic. The first thing we need to change, definitely. What is this? Oh my god. Stupid thing. Uh, controls. Manual gears. Because we need to shift ourselves, otherwise, it's gonna be a bigger problem than ever. Let's try to heat up the tires first. We overheated the tires. Oh, nice, nice, very nice, my friend. What on earth are you doing? I'm really happy that we were gonna make that point. Let's see how this is gonna be. going to be very annoying one because there are always going to be people hanging about here. Interesting figures that they are blocking the road with the rally rate cars or monster trucks or stuff like that. And since you cannot fast travel anywhere in this game, you cannot like quickly fast travel somewhere and then come back and try to get a new session. So if you don't see those people already a tent on the road here. Let's go back to the summit, that might be an idea. And then go back to try to get a new... Uh, well, it helped to clear out the weather a little. But before we can even do a run, we already have I'm also not even sure that we need to come from this side. Not 
very good point. Oh yes, this is a very interesting thing, this guy. Oh. Where are you? With your bloody rally ray track. What's your name, mister? DS Apt RS4. Thanks for blocking the speed trap. Do that again. You're gonna have a problem. There should be a better road to come from here. Big, big issue already. Because yeah, if we can get a good run going and we boost at the right time, with a drag car we can get over 500 units an hour, maybe even 600. Yes, RS4, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of those annoying characters that is blocking the speed trap here. And I will say exactly what I did in the uh, chat there. We'll send the clip to the depths. Take care of these idiots. We're gonna leave that be for this because this is pointless with people hanging about there. Aerobatics. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on. Los Angeles Aerobatics Okay Let's go over that country Tricky one here in LA. 11,680. Let's try that again, obviously. See if we can do any better. Quite a lot of people going for the maximum here. If you have the uh, sport breaker set on it. Oh, 
because it's only like what seven, six, seven. And you score a two thousand point bonus on the finish. Yep. But a lot of people are going to score the maximum here. Whatever that is, uh, with the score breaker set, uh, have a look on the leaderboard. See if somebody already set uh, a decent score. Um, friends, yeah, don't need to look on the friends. I need to look on uh, the top players. That's what I need. Twenty-five thousand hundred and fifty-one. I see there, but yeah. Um, That's sort of the idea. 25,000 points you can score here, more than likely. But even with our run, we did not hit everything gate perfect. We also do not have a score breaker set, so we don't have to worry about that. But we scored over 116,000 points. Uh, the speed trap is something we need to go back to. We need to get uh, with the drag car over 5 or 600 kilometers an hour there. But as long as uh, our friend over there is blocking the thing, it will not work. Salom, let's see if it's uh, on the road or not. Of course not. It's on the water again. Why, oh why? Can't it be once? You see some arrows for uh, when you come back, probably. So we the island here. figure out what the fastest boat is. Uh, last week it was the Frauschner, the week before it was the um, Jaguar Vector, where we did uh, the top scores with. But yeah, on this driver we don't have to worry about that. 82,000. Okay, let's go again. See if we can reach the 100,000 there. Eleven thousand points. Then with skill, uh, you get of course about seventy percent more, and then the score breaker doubles that. So yeah, uh, this is a hundred and fifty thousand points skill again when you have everything maxed out. The aerobatics, uh, not so much probably, because there are not that many gates. Uh, let's go back, try to get a better score on this thing here. Hopefully 
is no longer there. Six kilometers an hour. Of course, uh, we need to mess around with the settings. Let's see if we can take that thing a bit better that corner, and then we can get around 500. But most likely not with my vehicle here, because it's not upgraded, obviously. What is it? 372. We need to figure that out uh, once it's fine. I'm gonna go back to automatic and uh, have a look on the other events now uh, yeah, seeing it's pretty early days that I'm doing this now meaning that the summit was only running for a couple of minutes more than likely um, we have no idea where we're gonna end up because we're already in the platinum now because there are not that many players ranked yet let's uh, have a look on the uh, extremes we will do 345 September Holiday and then the extreme uh, Miami Servant Turf, which is more or less the episode that should have come with the um, Hot Shots update, but they kept it for now to bring it here in the summit The first five episodes were in the game when uh, when the game started uh, We need to select a vehicle, which is exactly what we will do Jet sprint easy. I only have one motocross easy. I only have one Touring car on the other hand we have a couple uh, and I think I have the parts on the Ferrari. It's time for some of those California dreams to come true, as proven racers and ambitious newcomers battle it out in the third stop of the Live Extreme Series. It's non-stop action like you've never seen it before. So also in the summit we have these annoying cutscenes. They are pretty annoying if you have to do this every time and watch this every time because you cannot skip them. What's also sure is that uh, there are many ramps about in these things. Don't take the ramps. Do you like speed? We've got it. Do you want to see jet sprint boats sipping their way through twisty passages? We've got that too. Do you like supercars on the streets of Los Angeles? Have we got something for you? Here we come to uh, a ramp shortly. Here is the ramp. Don't take it. Just go around here. Because you don't have the airtime. Same here, don't take the ramp. Time for some pure speed there. And those cruise ship passengers are You lose the speed by you. hanging in the air, that's the problem. Also here is a big ramp I think, but you can sort of cut through these boats here. The next jump you have to take because this is the uh, sort of switch of the vehicle. We go to motorcross now. Let's see what they have ready for us next. here we have to take it here you can jump next to it from a boat to a roof and from a roof to the ground now there's other than that we have to figure it out as we go also here yeah there is a gap there you can definitely go through there this one we have to take otherwise we're in the water this one we do not have to take just drive to the checkpoint clip it and go up here. But we do just one. Here we have the 
corner that I very often miss. Usually there is another exit there. Usually I take that thing. Also here you have no choice but to go on. They're gunning it as they head toward the home stretch of this section. So here there is a ramp but then you have to go over that roof, probably slower. For the final leg, let's go all out. It's not every day you get to see these kind of cars going full throttle along the LA River. Viewers, remember, you can vote on social media to tell us who, according to you, is the driver of drivers in this year's live extreme series. Through the LA spillway. episodes we're gonna have some serious troubles because we don't have any ones upgraded and we have to use three of them some of the disciplines I can get away with like the three grades I have upgraded we'll see how bad it is during the week of course by doing these events you also upgrade your vehicle a bit Seeing you're using disciplines, uh, you will only get parts for one of the uh, three disciplines that you're using in these events. There are quite some rocks here, so I don't immediately see uh, a cut here available. In this touring car section. Might be a cut here. Special needs in those things. If you lose a cut, they will find it. Uh, well here we have to finish. Four forty six or something. From sunny California, this was the so if you don't have upgraded vehicles, it definitely helps that you do not take the ramps with the jet sprint and try to avoid the big jumps with the motocross. So keep following us and your favorite drivers. We'll see you at race number four. In the test stream that I did, um, although it was not visible, I did a 4.53 here or something, so already seven seconds faster. Which is good enough for more than 100,000 points. And we get parts for the uh, motocross by the looks of it. So we have uh, four events done and we have over 400,000, which is not that bad. That means we are on the average that we want to be, being 100,000 points in all of these events. And now we go from there. On a premium summit, that's not going to be good enough to get a million, but on a, on a non-premium summit. Last week uh, on PC, the uh, top 3,000 platinum goal uh, it finished on 937,000 points on PlayStation 4 that was 968,000 but the top scores on PC were higher than on PlayStation 4 Xbox was uh, only 540,000 points so it depends a bit on the platform that you play on episode number 4 or 4 or whatever uh, it is. We'll have a look. Street race it says. Of course it does not have street race only. It's street race, powerboat and rallycross. The vehicle... Um, I think also this one is in the snow. So yes, we're gonna go for four wheel drive vehicle. I don't have the hurricane on this driver. I can also not buy it. So uh, we're just gonna go with the Audi. Powerboat. I'm gonna have to go with the offshore mark one. Uh, if you do have the Frauscher, then you more than likely need Frauscher 1414 Demon because that's the fastest powerboat. But the offshore will do. 
and over here uh, the Porsche or the Citroen C3. We only have the Porsche on this driver, so Porsche it's going to be. But I already noticed that uh, setting wise, this thing has a bit of an issue in the snow, but we'll see. The goal is to get 100,000 points. Things I think we can do it. Things are about to get rocky for our racers as they take on the American Southwest for series stop number four. Will Pressing escape as much as I can, continue their dominance. but no, nope, we cannot skip these cutscenes, so we have to go through them every time we start up this event. Yep, snow it is. Now, this vehicle is upgraded. So we should be able to get away from these guys. I never see them again. Because the summit takes place in, uh, in normal mode. One that will test our driver's reflexes and skills. Which has its downs and stuff. Anyway. Of course, you don't have uh, much trouble with the AI because they are driving in normal mode. If you have upgraded vehicles, you just get away from them and you never see them again. The downside of it is, of course, that you only win green and blue parts. So uh, it would not be a bad idea, in my opinion, that, uh, for instance, the top 10% of the ranking of each of these events would get like uh, ace mode parts, meaning purple or yellow. And then the top 50% or so uh, get hardcore parts, purple or blue, and then everybody outside of the top 50. Or the other way around, if you want to make them catch up, there are a few possibilities there. But this green and blue parts, that is, uh, yeah. The only thing you can do with that is get scrap. But it seems that uh, they don't want people to have the uh, good parts too soon or something like that. Also in PvP I've been playing it for a couple of hours to test it out. You're mainly getting yellow parts which have the fame magnet or the sniffer bonus which are totally useless for the So score breaker and uh, nitro chemist set, not that hard. To get uh, one winners like an event for the life, reward like Christmas and Who put that wrong there? But at this moment in time, it's pretty hard to get good yellow parts. How about we make some legends? I wish this thing. Remember, I uh, camera positions. Get a load of that scenery. This race course is magnificent. I have no idea how the competitors keep their focus in such a spectacular yeah, setting. Here I have a serious problem on this one. 302 meters an hour. I lose a bit. 320 something. The Prajner can do 370 maximum. Upgraded. So here I'm losing a lot of time on this powerboat section and I think it's uh, the largest portion of this episode. I'm going to take ramps, but it only slows us down. This is some exceptional racing folks. Live, the best camera system on the market, is proud to bring you event four of this season's Extreme Series. Live. Track, record, share. This voice, of course, is also annoying trying to distract you and then you make mistakes and stuff like that. You can applaud, put that voice down. Make sure you get a good exit here. Let's put our racers to the test along the Colorado River. Now it's going to be a bit of sliding with this Porsche. Pico 
prepare to counter steer. We're about to enter a difficult portion of the race. There's a lot of tight curves. Rocks narrow the passage, and it's a long way down with no guardrails. And that's even before we take into consideration the loss of grip created by the snow. It calls for careful technical driving. This bridge indicates we're coming up on the finish line. Racers, if you want to make a move, it's now or never. So, don't hit those things. Get there we go. Better cut the air. Even with the parts I have on, that run can definitely be better. Racers. Keep on following us on social media and watch out. Race number five is going to be a doozy. 521. Let's have a look on the leaderboard what the uh, current score is. 515 by Eliorath, which is a death. But we scored uh, 118 thousand points again all good all good with our new driver what did we win please don't let it be street race again no it's not we want some other parts this time uh, it's not a rally cross what else did we use street race power boat guess we want power boat parts yep we did a green 250 while we have a purple one on very interesting but we have a few parts which are running behind level wise and a lower part also very interesting Low, why do we get lower parts? makes no sense at all episode number 5 uh, is a bit of a problem meaning that uh, checkpoint placements not the depth sporty hypercar, uh, yes P1 will do a Formula One car or Alpha GP as it's called in this game. We're gonna go for the uh, Red Bull Disruption Edition and a Jet Sprint. We have the choice of the Proto Leopard or the Proto Leopard, seeing we only have one vehicle on this driver. Can of course you can buy uh, more of these things, but yeah, I'm saving up we're some bucks New York for race number five in the live because we're gonna need it once we have yellow parts to recalibrate. For you. We're going to show you some familiar territory in a whole new way. Already on the start you can go uh, more or less straight forward, which is more or less of a cut. And then there is a jump where you can reset. And then there is a little jump where you can cut a hairpin. That's all the, uh, all the hypercar parts are. You can just go straight instead of following the GPS. And it may be exhilarating, but it's also as tough as our cameras. To make it to the finish line on this one, you have to be among the best. The good news is that is exactly what we have for you today. The best. Here we've come to the point where we have to jump. Not like that though. Try this one. Okay, you're immediately in the race then, so you don't get the cutscene if you retry. Is proud to present one of the most exhilarating races on the circuit, and it may be exhilarating, but it's also as tough as. So we need to be prepared because it immediately starts. You have to be among the best. The good news is, that is exactly what we have for you today. The best. Get that same uh, text as well from the boys. Every time over again. Let's focus on the 
jump first. And we reset and it puts you behind the checkpoint, as you can see. You don't have to worry about that first checkpoint, just jump over it. That is something. Here, uh, this is more easier, a bit to the left. There we go. There's no checkpoint in that hairpin. Wrong checkpoint placement, once again. They are working on that though. Uh, for instance, on the hypercore uh, White Rocks Hill track, they have added some checkpoints, so you can no longer cut there. I noticed the other day in PvP. These fences, they're all a uh, very nice decoration, but here I'm not sure. It was a uh, straight right corner to followed by a uh, straight left corner. I think you can just go in a direct line there. That's something I have to check out. Uh, then here you can basically uh, floor it. Go to New York and switch to the Formula 1 car to go through New York City. And we finish in uh, Central Park with Jetspin. That's more or less what this episode is about. We see in the distance. Well, now at this speed, our drivers will be taking a bite out of it in no time at all. So we got so it is the last part. Time to take things to the next level. Because you get the bo uh, full boost bar again when you switch to another vehicle. Corruption Edition, of course, has the Halo thing. It's annoying. The driving cockpit view, which is still the best view for me, in my opinion, to drive these things. With a keyboard, I cannot drive with the camera from behind. That too can be just stop. Now that's something you don't get to see every day. Open wheel racing in the heart so of the most of the time, I will do hot cam also, or uh, or cockpit cam. We have a problem with the halo thing. line definitely helps in, uh, in events like this. You can actually see where you're going. Especially with changing weather conditions in all of these events. What a ride ladies and gentlemen, what a ride! Same as with much growth and so on. Don't take these ramps. We'll only slow you down. Be careful not to get dizzy now because this next section in Central Park has a lot of curves and they're all tight ones. What a place to host the finest in jet sprint racing. What a place, folks. We have to go around wider there. Go under this though. Oh. Just 
Look at the view, because our pilot sure can. Upgraded vehicles should also have a problem here because the AI is so far behind that they are coming there they are I just missed them now but if you do this with upgraded vehicles you're gonna meet them there on that point because that is a piece that you do two times going up and down and you are coming down and the uh, AI is so far behind that they are just coming up so be prepared here to get some traffic coming from the opposite side 6-11 that is a bad time even with the uh, that being said 126,000 points Looking good, we are looking good to get our uh, 1 million points. That's always the first goal uh, that we go. Uh, HC it says, that means hypercars, we want part for the hypercar. Which is uh, in our case, this thing here. 311, getting closer to the uh, 320 level that we need. Also these yellow parts, don't worry about it, you need a higher level first and then worry about the color. Which brings us to the uh, edit episodes. That being said, um, episode number 3, 4 and 5 were already in the game in the beginning. All the rest is uh, come later. September we had Gator Rush and they brought us uh, this thing here. The September Spectacular. Also here in the Rally Cross, uh, that's something we need to check, there are a few cuts possible. It's a double hairpin, you can basically could just drive down. First, uh, have to select the vehicles, obviously. Uh, the Porsche, the McLaren, and uh, the Proto Speedster, which level 59, yeah, that's more or less the worst vehicle that we have. Welcome to the live Extreme Series September Spectacular, our end of summer special. We're just off the shores of scenic Lake Tahoe. In summer, it's known for boating. In winter, it's known for skiing. Right now, it's about to be known for a rousing, riveting racing experience unlike anything you've ever seen. So join us now for the thrilling action of live Extreme Series Racing. I'm gonna try to stay left here. See, it's a beautiful check out day for our September spectacular. You can go behind this checkpoint and jump down. The, track. the big question: Will our latest breakout to this uh, once a lower part? Also here, you can go left. Story, be able to hold the somehow, or will a new challenger rise up to steal it away? And jump down. Need to have a look on that. But I don't know if it actually is faster. Or not. We'll just do the track normally for now. And then we'll figure out uh, the cuts later on if needed. But seeing we are doing pretty much okay uh, by just following the. Oh, yes. You restart. As you can see, it's a beautiful day Remember. for our September spectacular with ideal conditions out there on the track. The big question restart. Will our latest breakout star, once a fresh faced competitor, now a zero to hero Cinderella story, be able to hold the spotlight? Or. Will a new challenger rise up to steal it away? Our drivers are getting a heck of a view off that slope, but they're in for a heck of a fall if they overshoot one of those turns. Let's hope they save the sightseeing for after the race. Unavoidable ramp. Get 
with this rally cross there's a serious problem stopping the place. Hopefully we get some parts for it next. afterwards. The hypercar is higher, uh, yeah, but yeah, also the hovercraft we have a very low part, so. We'll see what we get. While rally cross cars are built to take a beating, hypercars are precision machines designed for on road use. Let's see if they can take the heat on rough asphalt in the deep woods. Engines are gonna make for a loud wake-up call if anyone's sleeping in this resort area today. Good thing it's not the busy season. Side of scenic Lake Tahoe, and they're about to see it from a lot closer up as the live extreme series debuts our new discipline, hovercraft. Forty percent of this track is hovercraft, so yeah, you want to have that thing upgraded, which brings us to the problem that we already had last week. The drifty is not available. Drifty refills while you're drifting, which basically are always doing with this thing. At just over 500 refills meters, your nitro, Lake Tahoe is the second deepest and it's lake not available States. anymore. But, in those but the problem is that need to focus on some of the people out there the not do the have it from the beginning of the game when it was available. It's still available in other disciplines, but not in hovercraft. So that is an advantage for those people. That was already clear last week. People who had drift you were easily going on the three minutes on the track we're on the final while others were having a fight to get would need to anywhere navigate near those it. river bends. But there's nothing traditional about these hovercraft. Now, let's see what they can really do. Well, this one not much, mister. Because it's not upgraded at all. right or left of that rock that don't have so much air time. Over here it's kind of okay, we are not going to go down. This ramp is avoidable. Go left of it. Still a little jump but less than when you take the ramp. Paraglider and GeForce were testing earlier with a 430 something. There you have it, folks. 440, 438 something they were the doing in a few tests that they have done. Join us next time. And be sure so, yeah, to that gives you a pretty much idea what the, uh, the top the times can be. Thrilling events that makes the live extreme series so extreme. Somewhere between 430 and 440, they were gonna do here. What did we do? A 511. Do the problem. Question. There is the answer. Do we have more than 100,000 points? Yes, we do.
the other question. Where are our parts? Hovercraft parts we got, that's always good. We definitely need some help there to get towards 80. 60 we have now. Getting there. 774,000. We are looking good to get our. Uh, we're 74,000 above where we want to be. Add it in December. The holiday special episode takes place in the snow. The first part we can do pretty much okay because we have a uh, street race. Uh, I wanted to say, but that's the other uh, episode. Uh, rally rate, yeah, 122. Now the mid, the second part is uh, pretty much that we can do okay. We have a 280 max out vehicle. Um, Although we don't have a set yet, but at least it's maximum. Power boat, uh, probably gonna need the Frauschner. Uh, but we do not have that on this driver, so we go with the offshore Mark 1. Season's greetings and welcome to the Fa La 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 Live Extreme Series Holiday Special. Deck your halls, trim your trees, and buckle up for a winter wonderland whirlwind of racing. Brought to you by Live. Live, makers of great cameras, which make even better gifts. Pretty much starts with a off-road downhill, switching to uh, the street race and finishing it up with a power boat. It's an annoying and I... Oh, get out of my way. They'll be driving right into a winter storm. Will they be facing minor flurries or an all-out blizzard? Either way, it should be a full-blown holiday treat. They are pretty annoying, the AIs on the start. But yeah, that's also the only time you will see them. Because they are driving on normal mode. Contours in snow covered terrain like this. And we have uh, more upgraded vehicles. White on white, which makes dashing through the snow a lot harder than it sounds. Get ready, fans. I did a it's test here, 47 and a half seconds. Vehicle. I switched here on my main driver, so we are already three seconds behind. Sort of similar like I did with the test earlier. After the uh, car race, we were five seconds behind. See, and also this part uh, takes no in. You need to take in consideration four wheel drive cars. Audi R8, Audi RS5, and of course. The hurricane. Hard to say if the wind's getting worse or the cars are going faster. Regardless, I wouldn't want to drive to the grocery store in this weather, let alone race at these. What you don't want to take here uh, is a street bike, because those things have no top. That's some decent it checkpoint like placement there. Night in this little town. All the glow with the and then boost all you got. Try to get the high speed and you can go for that jump have. towards the power boat. That street race part can be way faster. Racing sleighs just couldn't find enough reindeer. Power boat is what it is. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. These freezing conditions, river ice can sometimes be a hazard. Fortunately, not this year. 
For me, it's a bit like drag racing. Most of the time, it's straightforward. A to B. Not that many corners. In this track, it's kind of okay, but in general, not that many corners. It's pretty boring. The uh, power boat. Four or something, which is about 10-11 seconds holidays, behind the test that I did on my main driver. We hope your holidays are special too. At a 353.4 here, world record. And then uh, G4 did a test 353.0, so I'm assuming times will go under 350 on this track. But what is the verdict for the 404? Going by the other scores we got, I'm assuming it will be good enough for more than 100,000 points. 120,000, 320. And we want some parts for the power boat. Which by the looks of it is gonna be our second fully upgraded uh, discipline after the street race. Uh, what is this? Collector, not something we need. Then you can as well put on this. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be scrapped because we have a yellow part on it at least. And here we get a lower. This is very interesting. So we still need one, two, three, four parts that need to go to 250. Which leaves us with uh, the new episode. More or less added into the game from this moment on, from today. And that's the Miami Surf and Turf. Uh, that is powerboat again, uh, rally rate on the Miami beach and uh, yeah, you can literally take that as a beach, it's like full of cabins and hot dog stands and all kind of stuff that you can hit there uh, in rally rate and then you finish it up with a uh, hypercar, if I'm not mistaken. That also will conclude uh, the whole summit thing and give us the 9 event conclusion which also means uh, 100,000 points bonus extra. That's what you get if you do all the events. Uh, where is our Porsche? Because that's where the parts are on. There it is. And the Michael Caron P1. Welcome to beautiful Biscayne Bay and today's live extreme event, Miami Surf and Turf. From the water to the beaches to the heart of the city, we're serving up a racing combo platter of everything that makes Miami great. Brought to you by Live. We make the cameras, you make the action. The power boat section is a bit tricky though. You have to cross uh, under a bridge a couple of times. Also here, try to avoid these things if possible. Some of the ramps are not avoidable, like this one. You have to take it. No other choice. We can lean forward though. To get the boat faster down. Here it becomes a bit tricky. A lot of things to hit here. Cruise ships showcase one of the many luxuries Miami has to offer, while those bridge pillars showcase one of the many hazards our designers built into the course. Just figuring out uh, what the best road is. This was pretty clear. Let's get out of the water and get ready for a high speed blow dry. Switching to the uh, rally right now. Also here, a bit of scenery going ahead first. 
before you actually have control of the car. There are quite some ramps though, and the checkpoints are uh, placed as they are placed. So also here you want to lean forward a bit when you jump, so that your nose comes down quicker. Drivers don't let those slow them down. A few things they say, it's full of crap that you can hit. I haven't tested if they actually uh, work by driving things with these. Uh, Checkpoints. If they are triggered, then of course you can avoid all of these ramps. A bit of ramming beach seats. That's what that uh, second part was about. And then we finished up with a uh, pretty high speed over the Venetian island, we jumping in. Cross that thing turn. as well. So now it's time for dessert. Speed. We should be okay if we keep the middle because we do have traffic here. Forget squirrels or raccoons. Here in Miami, the local wildlife includes alligators who make their homes in those waterways. Dog owners, if you move to Miami, be sure to keep your pets on a short leash. Should be okay if we stay in the middle of the road. the Venetian Islands, a group of artificial islands constructed in the bay and connected by a bridge originally built in part by racing pioneer Carl yeah. G. Fisher. That was to be expected. If only he could see what we're doing now. That was to be expected. That is going to be the annoying part here with that last one. We're going to have to redo this thing over and over again. There will always be a car in your way or crossing or stuff like that. Final stretch to the finish line in downtown Miami. And with those hypercars capable of speeds up to 450 kilometers per hour, that's 280 miles per hour, folks, they'll be there before you know it. Uh, what I don't know about this summit thing is if you, these uh, episodes in the game itself, in the campaign, can only be played in solo mode. All the other campaign events you can do in a crew, but these extreme events you can only do in a solo mode. So what I don't know if it's within the summit if you can actually do it uh, in a crew. That is something we have to figure out uh, the next days. Because if, they, if you do, you're gonna have an advantage. We did not get 100,000 points on this one though. Yeah, because we hit traffic more than likely. It's already costing us 100,000 points here. But we did manage uh, to get some bars for this. Uh, for what? For the rally rate apparently. Four summits into this uh, hot shot update with our nope driver and we're getting slightly towards the maximum upgraded vehicles level wise then of course we need to find the yellow parts and recalibrate and all that kind of stuff but that's for later where are we 17th that's not that important because there are only 650 players ranked I quickly went through this summit at this moment because yeah I needed to be quick because in about 30 minutes from now there will be the maintenance and the uh, the game will go down. Uh, yeah, there are not really um, going through the names here. Balmy wind, just do it. Um, those are names that you occasionally see uh, in the top. 
Elio Ras, uh, a partisano, one of the devs, he's uh, at the moment leading the show, but uh, that will not last for long. Uh, yeah, if we are scoring 1.258, I'm assuming somewhere around 1.3 million for this uh, summit for the top players. But the summit, nope, is in 17th place at the moment, with 1,088,000. Last week, that was more than enough to get the platinum top 3000. At this moment in time the top 3000 is minus one because there are no 3000 players ranked yet. Uh, but I have a feeling that for this summit the 1 million hmm, we'll see. The fact is uh, that we can win this uh, we can win this nitrochemist legendary set and some people might want to play for that. If you don't have a yellow set, yeah, this is a pretty good one. It has seven parts in it, so it is an active set. As soon as you put the parts on, on all the seven different uh, parts, it goes active. Because it all has the nitrochemist bonus and it also has uh, extra pump, which is the refill. It's one of the parts you want. So the only thing you need is this, uh, what is that, resourceful, I think. You need to replace that with pure and you have the perfect set. Max it out with... Uh, Extra pump 10% and pure 8% and you have the perfect set. So uh, that is something to play for next to the McLaren 12C. But yeah, if you can reach platinum you get uh, all of these uh, rewards uh, as we did last week. Oh my god. We have a rare uh, Sparehawk semi-slick tire. Uh, as far as I know these are not that expensive if you want to buy them. But uh, these items are only available for crew credits. If you, if you don't want to spend your crew credits on vanity items, summits is the way to go. Because you can just win them throughout the summits. And they are usually under the silver or gold reward. So uh, easier to get than the platinum, obviously. 17th, 1,088,000 points with our nope driver. Of course, uh, what I do is... Uh, Throughout the weekend I come back on this driver and have a look what is going on in how bad I shape of I am. If necessary we can obviously improve like so on the skill test. We're going to get better parts so which also means we're going to get faster times in, uh, in all of these things. So we can always improve our score. But starting off with over a million points on day one, that's not a bad start. That means I can leave it be for now for a couple of days and come back in the weekend and then uh, see how good or bad the situation is. Last week I didn't barely had to do anything because uh, we had 1.1 million, 1.174 or something I think. Yeah, and the uh, top 3000 score never came even on a million because it finished on 930,000 on PC. So we were more than good enough for Platinum. That is the idea that we do with this Nope driver. We just try to uh, qualify for Platinum and meanwhile upgrade our vehicles and see how long it will take us to get uh, up in the rankings and up in the top 25 or even in the top 10 if we can reach that. Which more than likely we can because on my other driver I am reaching top 10. So uh, if we have similar parts and similar vehicles we should be able to do it. But we'll see how long it takes. We started obviously when the hotshots update came into play and uh, we will see how long it will take us to get in that top 25 of the summit at the end of the week of course. Uh, now we are 17th which is top 25 but yeah six, 650 players ranked uh, last week the summit finished with more than 22,000 players on PC and uh, if it's a premium summit that number goes over 30,000 players. So uh, yeah. This is not going to be good enough for a top 25 uh, by the end of the week. But we will see if it's good enough for Platinum. I will have a look uh, in the weekend and see what's going on. That will be it from my part. The Nope does Summit number 4. We reached more than 1 million points which is our weekly goal. So we're good to go. We'll see you guys in the next one and bye for now.